Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Porchy Tech, and today I have for you another video. So in this video today, we're gonna be what are we gonna, what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna um, set up my wife's existing Apple Watch to her new iPhone. So she did upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro from her 11 Pro. Okay, and this is her Apple Watch SE. This is an LTE version. So this one has cellular data set up on this. Okay, but it's not peered to this new phone as yet. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna have to peer this watch back to the new iPhone. So if you're pretty much trying to set this up or you have issues with doing this, then this is the video that you want to see. Okay, so let's get into it. So before we have we um before we can go ahead and do anything, the first thing we gotta do here is we gotta wipe the watch to factory settings because the phone is not gonna be it's not gonna recognize this watch until we um wipe it okay so we gotta go to the settings here so you just gotta hit the crown we're gonna go through the apps and we're gonna go down and we're gonna find settings okay so after settings you're gonna go down to so let's go back. So follow my step here. You go to settings and you're gonna hit on general right here. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna hit the reset. So here we're gonna hit erase all contents and settings, okay? So here we're gonna erase all that. So now this is very important. You gotta pay attention to this right here. So it says erase all content. So you're gonna hit, you have erase all and you're gonna erase all and keep plan. So this is a LTE watch, as I mentioned before. We do have a plan for this watch on T-Mobile, so we're gonna keep our plan, current plan that we have with T-Mobile with this watch. So we're gonna hit erase and keep plan because we're gonna keep our plan. Okay, so hit this. So it's gonna erase everything else, but you're still got. You're still gonna have your line with your carrier, whichever carrier you have. You're still gonna have your data line for your watch with that carrier. It's not gonna delete it. So let it do it. Now we're gonna have this watch do the reset real quick. It doesn't take a long time for it to do the reset. Okay, so seems like it's about almost done. It's booting back up. We're gonna let it boot up. It's a pretty easy process. It's not complicated. You just gotta follow the steps. Okay, so now we're gonna have our watch boot up. So let me put the code in for this phone. And then we're gonna go to the watch app after the watch boots back up. So now the watch is booting up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video until it boots back up, then I go ahead and start the video again. Okay, so now the watch is booted back up and this is a message you're gonna see on your watch and immediately you're gonna see this on your phone as well. So it's asking you, use your um, use your iPhone to set up this watch. So this is what you, you wanna see here, okay? So you're gonna hit continue right here continue okay so we're gonna, we're gonna hit peer new watch all right set up for myself and then we're gonna go ahead and scan this thing right here there we go your Apple watch is peered and we're gonna hit restore from backup we're gonna select this which is the backup for my wife's watch and we hit continue says connecting to your Apple Watch. This may take a moment, all right? So we're just gonna let that run for now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, accept terms and conditions, hit agree. All right, so it says shared settings. So I hit OK. All right, 
right so bold text this is the text size she had on the watch before i think so i'm gonna keep that uh don't add passcode for now so don't add passcode all right so we'll keep your apple watch up today we're gonna hit continue continue cellular is ready hit continue so as you can see when it says cellular is ready that means the apple watch still has its data line connected to the carrier all right so it says apple watch is syncing so we're gonna let this run for a few minutes and then it's gonna start up by itself okay so let's just give this a couple minutes and let it boot up okay so it's done syncing so now this is a message that that um came up on the phone so it says your apple id and phone number are now being used for imessage and facetime on your apple watch okay so we're gonna hit okay to accept that and it's gonna continue syncing it's almost done Okay, so your your watch is ready. Press the digital crown to start. So this is the crown right here. So we're gonna hit the crown. There we go. And there it is. Say update complete. So there it is. It's okay. And as you can see, the watch, the watch face that was there before, and everything is back to what it was. So now the Apple Watch is restored from iCloud with all your settings and everything that you had previously so that's it if you enjoyed this video and if this helps you out please consider subscribing and turn your notification bell on to get notified when i have uploads on this channel all right that's the end of the video peace